The concept of gratitude can be triggering because of this assumption that to be grateful, we shouldn't feel bad. Or if we are struggling, then we must not be grateful. Neither is true. These assumptions lead to an anger response towards gratitude because it takes away our permission to struggle or feel pain in our life. We saw this anger response in the video we posted last year on gratitude as an antidote to anxiety. But let me clear the air. As a counselor, I look at gratitude as a way of challenging the not enough mindset or thought process. Like, I don't make enough money. I don't drive a nice enough car. I want a better position or a better pay. I haven't lost enough weight. I don't have a clean enough house. This mindset leaves us feeling anxious, depleted, empty, and eventually lost. The gift of a daily gratitude practice grounds us in who we are, who we can rely on, what we can count on, and ultimately what we have. It creates a it's enough mindset. Some fear having that it's enough mindset because they assume it'll decrease their drive to achieve, which couldn't be further than the truth. While you're feeling depleted and empty from that never enough mindset, you have less to give and less to accomplish with. Gratitude is not the absence of pain or struggle. It's the hope within that pain and struggle. To accept loss, sorrow, hurt, and anger while also holding space for what is okay. I am hurt and I'm grateful to have this friend to share it with. I'm sad to lose that dear person in my life and I'm grateful for the wonderful memories we have. It creates a balance of that sorrow and hope. So in this holiday season, rather than having anger towards gratitude, let's embrace it. Let's connect with ourselves in a deeper way of what we are struggling with, what we want to be better, and what we also are grateful for. I wish you good mental health. Happy Thanksgiving.